Now, my next guest, Corrie's Jane Danson, says her current storyline, where Leanne, of course, is battling to keep her son alive, has been her toughest ever. Oliver has a life-limiting condition. You asked if it was reversible. I'm afraid the answer is no. I can't lose my baby, but... We're going to make Oliver's life the best it can be. Oliver may not be able to recover from this. What are we going to do? He's going to be fine. Have you not just heard what she said? He got better before and he'll get better again. How can you let a child die? How can that be in his best interests? If you walk away from the discussion, a judge might have to step in. We'll see in court. I have been appointed as Oliver's guardian. We're here to decide whether he lives or dies. If Wendy thinks we will listen to confidential recordings, it just wouldn't play out well for us in court. Only if she found out. He knows as well as anyone there's no hope for little Oliver. But he feels he's got to stand by Leanne. But what if the right thing for Oliver is to let him go? Oh, it's heartbreaking. Jane Danson joins me now. Jane, an astonishing performance. I mean, it's had the nation in, in floods of tears and, and hard for you to do because you've got to get it right. Because people, you know, some people are living this. This is their Absolutely. truth, isn't it? Yeah, thank you so much. Um, it's it's been really overwhelming, actually. We've um, we've been discussing the storyline for quite some time, um, and even though across the years I've had so many wonderful stories, this has felt like the most important, and um, certainly the most challenging. Um, and also, you know, there are a lot of families out there who are unfortunately going through what Leanne is going through for real. So we had a huge responsibility to get this right. So. It is an enormous week for, for this story, for, not just for Leanne, but for all the other characters involved, for Nick, for Steve, um, for Tracy. So it, it, it's opened up so many other stories within our little unit. Um, but yeah, it's certainly been the most challenging story I've ever had, I think. And it shows, you're absolutely right, it shows the ripple effect, the effect that it has on relationships. And a lot of people say in a tragedy, it can bring a couple closer together. But actually, sometimes as we're seeing, you know, Leanne and Nick seem broken. It's, it's tough for them, isn't it? I think what's been really interesting about this story is Leanne, as we as we know, is quite feisty and stroppy and strong and gobby, and she she jumps in the deep end with most things, and she gets it wrong a lot of the time. And I think with this story, they've kept true to character, so she's not just suddenly become a saint because yeah. she's going through a really difficult time. They've really kept true to the essence of who she is. Um, and rather than bring the two of them closer together, Leanne has done that thing of pushing everyone away yes. and thinking that she is the only one that can deal with this and make this better. No, that's so that's had a real ripple effect on all of the characters. And it's not just about Leanne and Nick, it's about Leanne and Steve and Steve and Nick and Tracy mm. and Nick. And, and it's, it's involved so many layers. So from a creative point of view, that's been really interesting to explore as well. Very much so. And you were saying you were, you were crying sometimes reading the, the scripts, you know, you obviously, and you're such a brilliant actress. I mean, you, you know, we really believe every single thing that you're going through, because you put your whole heart and soul into it, you always do. But for you to be sitting there reading it and, and to be in tears as well, I can, I can, I can just see you doing that. Yeah, it, it's been really tough. We've worked really closely with the Lily Foundation, uh, a lovely lady called Liz Curtis, who sadly lost her own baby uh, when she was eight months old, little Lily. Um, and she told me her story. And as a parent, obviously, it kind of pulls on your heartstrings anyway. But as a parent, it, it feels even more overwhelming. Um, but the scripts have been so wonderful. Um, it's hard not to cry. Um, I, the last few um, weeks that we've had has been really tough, as you can probably imagine. And the next couple of weeks on screen Sorry. are quite full on. And I think they're possibly the best scripts I will ever have, in all honesty. Um, and I had to put them down several times because it's, it is truly, truly heartbreaking. So it wasn't hugely difficult <laughs> because, you know, it's so sad, but we're, we're a great little team and we've all really supported each other and at the risk of kind of blowing our own trumpets I, we are really proud of this story and we just hope that it can raise awareness for all them families who are sadly going through this for real. Well it certainly has and that's the thing that Coronation Street does incredibly well indeed all, all of our soaps do they do it so so well and 60 years of Corrie coming up goodness me yeah. Jane 60 years that's incredible isn't it? 
It is astonishing. I remember when we did the 50th, um, the, the live episode, the tram crash, and, you know, and that was a huge landmark. But 60, I, I just, you know, wow, it's just overwhelming. And, you know, everybody's is still with us. They're still watching. We're still producing so many episodes per week. Um, so, yeah, I, I'm really lucky to be a part of it and really, really proud. I know. Now, how long has it been since you've been at? It's got to be about 23 years, isn't it? <laughs> I think so. I think um, the Battersby's are due to be on the classic Corrie in, in a few weeks' time, or even they're not already. Oh, so, um, so, yeah, I'm feeling quite old to be on the classic Corrie's, <laughs> but uh, yeah, long time ago. <laughs> You're a stalwart, an absolute stalwart you are. And how, how is that? Because actually, I have to say, huge kudos to your gorgeous husband. He's been dyeing your hair and he didn't make a mess of it. I know, he's done very well. Um, I have to say, um, the hairdresser did open, so I did go back to the hairdressers, but now they're shut again. So I might be calling on his skills in another few weeks. But um, yeah, during lockdown, he um, he helped me out with the grey roots, which I nearly sort of just went with for a while. Right. I, thought, I can do this. And then I thought, no, I'm not ready to be grey. <laughs> so yeah, so he did very well. <laughs> he absolutely did. Of course, we remember him so, so well. I remember Robert so well on, on things like Brookside and all of that. So he knows what it's like. He knows. It must be quite good, actually, because he knows what it's like, especially when you're involved in such a uh, demanding storyline so you've got that support which is great absolutely yeah he has been my rock he, I mean he always is anyway but he's he's known that this particular storyline has been quite challenging and for several months I wasn't at home very often mm -hmm. and when I was at home I was I was obviously learning lots of lines so he really looked after me oh. and you know under Covid conditions and um, as Dawn was saying earlier it, it, it's it's a different job really mm -hmm. you, you were kind of under different pressures and things are a little bit kind of more tense at times and we weren't having many tea breaks because but you're doing you know, so we well people. you're doing so well and it's so lovely to see you and Corrie thank airs you. tonight of course half seven and half eight and thank you so much Jane don't forget you can watch full episodes of Lorraine on the ITV hub and all the best clips compilations and playlists right here on our channel just subscribe now and you'll never miss an upload click here to watch another video similar to this one or click here to head to our channel's homepage to explore all of our exciting videos.